So 2021 is at it again. Uh, real quickly before we start the show, we just wanted to quick give a quick uh, rest in peace to Dustin Diamond. As many of our people in my, in my generation and our generation know him as Screech from Saved by the Bell. He passed away with a quick uh, after a quick battle with stage four cancer. He might not have been up there in regards to like Cicely Tyson in regards to the impact, but I think for people within my generation, he did have a huge impact just because he was such an iconic character. So just felt it was right to give him a, a just to give a quick rest in peace to Dustin Diamond. Uh, anything to add, you know? Yeah, um, I was just thinking that I, I hope this isn't a recurring thing where we start off every episode with some sort of eulogy. Um, it's it's sad that it's twice now in in a week span where you know, a, a really famous uh, actor has passed away. Um, I I know um, Saved by the Bell like from late, from a later point in my life. You know, obviously I didn't grow up here, um, but I was telling Zeus before we started recording that um, a big part of Saved by the Bell, my knowledge from it came from watching Zach Morris's Trash, which uh, comes from Funny or Die, and they post those on like YouTube and Facebook. Um, and obviously Screech is a part of that too. So uh, it is uh, sad to hear of his passing, and we just thought it would be good to you know, pay tribute before we start our show. All right. Rest in peace, doesn't end. Rest in peace. Welcome to ZZ Talk with Zeus. And Zena. This is the show of two everyday guys that talk about everything and anything, including sports, pop culture, and a heavy dose of politics. There will be no sports today. Reason being is... Today is February 3rd. Tomorrow, which is our usual day, Thursday of recording, is going to be February 4th. We're actually recording with our, with our friends from the radio show, uh, Easy and M16. So we're going to touch a lot on sports in that section. It'll kind of be a Super Bowl preview because we do have the Super Bowl coming up this Sunday. So no sports today, but we do have to talk about a little bit of politics because this is a show that has a heavy dose of politics. And we're also going to touch on the fact that the Black Panther is coming out with a TV show. So we want to touch up on those things because, as you know, the two things that unite Zeno and myself are sports and MCU. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and a, a bit All of right. politics. A little bit of politics, but the more important thing is, of course, MCU. Yeah. Speaking of which, check out our One Division preview coming out every, every single Friday until the review. show. Just review. 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 Yeah. Or review. Yeah, the, not the preview. You can yeah. preview us reviewing other shows by watching the other reviews. Okay. <laughs> So anyways, as you know, what's up with you, man? Uh, chilling, man. Um, in the middle of the work day. And uh, I, I got through some early morning meetings today. I don't know if you can tell that there are bags in my eyes still. Um, <laughs> but, you know, just, just, just chilling. <laughs> just ready to talk about some sports. Actually, no, sorry, not sports. Uh, no sports. No sports, yeah. You know, talk to, to my friend Zeus about, you know, the going zones of the day. So... Yeah, just chill. All right, well, listen, we got a we got a small, compact show, but it's going to be a fun show. And then, of course, it's Zeno and I. We can't do a t- we can't do a show without a top five, can we, Zeno? I mean, I we could, we but why would we? No, no, we can't. Sometimes even okay. a top ten. <laughs> exactly. So, because the Black Panther show is coming out, and as you can tell, as always, I have stuff written down. Zeno is going to be doing off the fly. Um, even though I don't have an actual list, so I'm probably going to be doing a little bit off the fly. We're going to do a quick top five. Of... So is it fair to say, Zeno, that January of 2021 has been a quite impactful six months? <laughs> yes. One month packed in six. Oh, six months packed Just in one. Just about. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just about. I think this it's might been be heavy. the first. The day isn't over yet. It's Wednesday. But I think this is the first Wednesday that we haven't had something huge happen. Right, That's we true. had the we had the sedition the caucus, the and then we had the inauguration, and then what happened on the other Wednesday? I, I, oh, um, GameStop. Oh yeah, it's yeah. A lot so, so we decided that we're gonna be the the, the cushion between stuff happening and you know, um, <laughs> and and just having a normal day. And hopefully, if we record a day, nothing will happen. But of course, then that means next week we'll probably end up talking. About, hey, you know what happened on Wednesday after we uh after we logged off? So, our top five. 
because 2021 is almost gone, we didn't do this at the very beginning of the year. A little stuff, like we just mentioned, some stuff happened that we just causes a sideline. We want to talk about our most anticipated that me and Zeno each have anticipating shows uh, coming up in 2021. We're going to do shows and movies, but shows just seems a little bit more accurate just because there's a lot of shows coming out. Obviously, COVID relief. I mean, COVID relief. I'm sorry. COVID pandemic has caused it where a lot of movies are have been delayed. So we don't even know if these movies are even coming out. And then half of the movies that would be on this list probably should have been in most anticipated movies of 2020 because the majority of them are being delayed. So we're going to do top five, uh, top five most anticipated uh, shows coming up, seasons, news. It's either new shows or seasons, whichever one you want. Uh, real quickly, before we uh, jump off, do you have any honorable mentions? No, no honorable mentions. And um, even though we're calling it a top five, mine isn't going to be ranked in order of like anticipation. It's just going to be five shows that I'm anticipating. Yeah, and me I'm going to put me it in honestly, any order. Maybe there'll be one that I'll say for sure that I really want to. I really can't wait to watch this one, but it, it'll just be just five. Uh, I do have one honorable mention, which is a movie. Mm -hmm. Just because I mentioned this last year, how I really wanted to see this movie. So I'm really hoping it uh, jumps off. I know I got Wonder uh, HBO Max because of Wonder Woman. I honestly think this is the real reason I got I got HBO Max, which is Doom. I really can't wait for this. It's October. Hopefully, the pandemic comes down. I might even go watch that in theaters if uh, if the you know the uh, if it subsides and the and the vaccine the works. Vaccine and all that stuff has caused everything to, to go down. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off. And since me and you are in Atlanta. Guess what show? Atlanta season three. Atlanta season three. I've been anticipating for a minute, so I really can't wait to see Atlanta. Atlanta like, season three. How do you feel about? It? Did you watch the show? Have you watched the show? Oh yeah, you know, I love the show. Uh, I think season one was better than two, um, but not saying that two wasn't good because two was really good too. Uh, I really love the show. Have they actually um, like set a date on season three? That you know. Have they what? Have they set, they set a, a date? Season? on season three no you know what actually unfortunately season three is kind of one of those maybe uh -huh. um it's yeah. not 100 percent certain out there but i saw it on the list of movies of the shows that are supposed to come out right. so i had to throw that in there i'm really happy to anticipate season three i don't know if they recorded but the thing is i don't know if you thought this i honestly thought they always recorded like when i was a kid i thought they recorded shows the previous summer to be coming out in the fall oh, like, like, for some like reason, well in advance yeah, yeah, some 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 shows have a tighter um, recording schedule. Um, I know a lot of these network shows like ABC and CBS have a tighter recording schedule, whereas some of the um, more cable friendly shows or whatever, one of the, those compact shows, have a longer production cycle. So this could be one of those where you know their production cycle. Well, it's also it's also what ten episodes, maybe eleven episodes of thirty minutes. Right. So it's easier to record those shows and then. But yeah, I, I I really I still kind of surprised that that shows get because I, I didn't when I saw these new seasons of new shows coming out I was like they got face masks they're talking about the pandemic you know you're mm -hmm. thinking oh no they're gonna act like the pandemic isn't around because the pandemic wasn't around but yeah. anyways but yeah uh, I don't know if it's recorded yet but I know for sure I'm anticipating Atlanta season three that's one of my that's one of my five okay cool um so I know that you're not. Uh... Well, I don't, do I know this? Well, I don't believe you're big on anime, but, oh, hold on, Google. I don't know why my phone's going off. Um, I don't know if you're big on anime, but uh, I did, I am thinking of anime because I did start watching this show called uh, Attack on Titan, which everyone thinks is the best thing since sliced bread, and I'll have to agree. It's amazing. Mm. Uh, but uh, because that's on my mind, uh, I'm going to put on the list My Hero Academia Season 5. Uh, that's scheduled to come out um, April, I think. And it's on? Uh, it's, it's usually on Hulu, uh, but you can also okay. get it on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll actually has the English dub um, come out in Samuel dub. So the Japanese would come out and the English dub would come out right right away, right? Voiced by the same people who did Dragon Ball Z, uh, Funimation. Okay. So um, it's a really good show. It's basically a superhero society uh, and they base a lot of their heroes on like what you see in like Marvel and DC comics. So um, it, it's fun. And My Hero Academia season five, it's, it's one I'm really anticipating. I'm not gonna lie. Never heard of that show. Oh, it's... I, I don't. If you want to get into anime, I'd probably go with that one just because 
it isn't as big a commitment as like Naruto, which has hundreds of episodes. Naruto ran for over a decade. Um, My Hero Academia, it's it's more compressed. They release like 20 episode seasons and then go away for like a year and then come back. Uh, so okay. if you were- No, no, I'll check it out. That's why I asked you where it was because if it's on Hulu, I can just, I can yeah, go check it out. The, the first four seasons are all on Hulu. So you can see it there. Oh, I might be able to binge watch it before the, uh, the next season comes up. Yeah. All right, cool. So I think I might be cheating this whole time and I might actually just add an honorable mention of movies. So this is really going to be my five movies, five shows, but we yeah. won't go too deep into the movies. But I'm going to actually do another honorable mention of Into the Heights. Okay. So if people don't know what this is, obviously you probably know by now that me and Zeno are huge Hamilton geeks and love this. But Into the Heights is actually the first real big play that Lin-Manuel Miranda created, which is... Something that I think my wife would really enjoy, just because my wife is Dominican. She's been to, so, and she's Dominican, Dominican. Not like I'm, I'm Dominican and she's from New York. Like she's Dominican, born in Dominican Republic, came here. But it's gonna be a lot about the Dominican, uh, Dominican, Dominican, Dominicans in New York, right? Obviously, into the Heights, which is, well, I forgot what the area is, but the Crown Heights. So it's Crown Heights. It's about Crown Heights. Mm-hmm. Um, and I listened to some of the songs just because I created, of course, a Hamilton Pandora and Into the Heights comes into it. So Into the Heights is a quick honorable mention. As far as the shows goes, I'm going to go ahead and say um, I'm really looking forward to this one, actually. Since we're not ranking them, this might be ranked really high if we were ranking it. But I'm going to go with. So I talked about these Apple TV shows. And for all mankind. As soon as I finished season one, I kept clicking on it and going into more to see. I was like, no, there's got to be more episodes. Mm. So Into All Mankind, season two, I'm going to wait until Apple releases all of them. I am not a fan of all these. Week to week. Uh Uh-huh. Week to week shows. Yes. I'm like, no, if I want it week to week. But then again, there are some shows that deserve week to week. I think Wanda, actually, WandaVision does it. I think as a week-to-week, that actually is good. It allows you to anticipate. But then there's some shows that, you know, I just need to binge watch them, you know? Mm-hmm. Into All Mankind would be one of the shows that I would really love to binge watch. But it makes sense that they do week-to-week because they also leave it at, um, they leave it at a cliffhanger usually at the, or like a big impactful thing happens at the very end. And, you know, of the very end of every episode. So that makes sense that a week-to-week. I'm going to wait till they release it all at one time. And then I'll, I'll sign up to Apple TV again. But Into All Mankind, season two, really feel like you need to watch season one wait till season two comes out watch that way you can watch all two seasons but okay. into all mankind for okay. all mankind not for, all mankind. for all mankind yeah um okay i was just thinking when you're saying about cliffhangers maybe if you want something lighthearted, going back to the anime conversation to start with um go with my hero academia because it's, it's lighthearted, but there are stakes but if you want something that would make you just really sad and like gut punch all the time go with attack on titan um right <laughs> it's 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 really good it's really good um okay so okay for all mankind mankind was yours um the final season of better call saul uh that's one i'm really anticipating what better call saul oh better call saul yeah um, season. at this point should i just wait until they're all released on netflix and then just yeah. watch them all at one time no, finish this last season that came out, and then, you know. No, I mean, start one season. I need to start the oh, first Oh, you season. haven't started. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, okay, then do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just wait. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's really good. Uh, I think... Or does Hulu release them? Because you know how... I don't know which... is It, it has to be not, have, only network shows, right? Yeah, Hulu doesn't have um, any of the AMC shows, to my recollection. Um, but no. I believe Better Call Saul is on Netflix, and yeah, I I would say probably just wait for everything to come out. It's a, it's a shame that the stars haven't done any um, Emmys. Uh, Odenkirk, um, Rhea Sihon, and Jonathan Banks. I think they all. But he them. has been nominated. But he has. He's, he's been nominated. nominated. He's been nominated almost every season, though. No? Uh, I, yeah, it's been, no, almost every season. He didn't get nominated this last season, which is a travesty that he didn't even get nominated. You know what so, that means, right? What. He's probably gonna be nominated for this season and win it because you know a lot of times they hope we we hope we hope but I don't know we'll see um so yeah better call Saul was that my second that is your second my second okay 